Hi and welcome to my studio. I'm Michael with Michael Colmire Designs. We use salvage and reclaim woods along with steel, concrete, leather and textiles to build unique, one-of-a-kind custom furniture for your home and business. Let's open a package. Um, this is from our friends over at Gearheart Industries. Gear, at Gearheart Industries they, uh, they build custom brands, branding irons. And uh, we ordered one to give them a shot. Uh, and we needed a new branding iron for our furniture. So uh, let's check them out. Okay. So that should be packaged nicely. Bubble wrap. Branding iron itself, uh, with the brass brand, it's heavy. The iron looks nice, has a wood handle, their logo branded into it. The brass brand, the, the brass is thick, it's heavy. The machining is excellent, very crisp. This should make good brands. Uh, well, in fact, here's a test brand that they did. Gearheart uh, brands every branding iron and sends you a, an email before they ever ship it to make sure everything's correct. Good job. Let's see what else we have. Stop! Read this! Yeah. That's all the warning labels. Who needs those? Here's all the directions. Who needs those? But in all seriousness, do read your warning labels and your directions before using this tool. It does get hot. It will burn you if you use it incorrectly. So we're going to heat this up. We're going to come back. It uh, should take about 15 minutes. We'll come back and give it a few test burns. We'll see how it actually works. Until then. Welcome back. Now we're in my wood shop and we have the iron heated. As you can see, it's smoking, getting the new from it, um, getting some heat marks down here. It is very hot. The brass is turning a darker color. Shininess is leaving it. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're, we're going to keep in mind to hold the wood handle only and to keep the cord back. We don't want to melt it. Our first brand, we have a piece of uh, maple plywood, so let's try it here. One, two, three, slight rock. All right, nice, clean, crisp brand. I like that. It's got a little, uh, little smokiness around it. If you don't like the smokiness of the brand, you can dampen the wood. What I have here is just a wash, wet washcloth. I'm just going to wipe down the wood. And let's give her another brand. Here it's Sizzle. Nice, crisp brand. No smokiness whatsoever. I like that. And that is on a piece of maple. Let's try, uh, let's try a piece of... Uh, Looks like it may be beach. I'm going to give it a little wipe down. And when I set it down, I'm just giving a very slight rock back and forth one or two times, keeping it in the same place, and it is crisp. Here's a piece of reclaimed oak. See what it does. It too is nice and dark. Looks good. This is going to look great on my furniture. I want to try 
this brand here was in a uh, place that were that was skip planed. I'm going to try a piece out here where it's a little rougher, a little bit in that gray wood. I just want to see what it'll do. We're going to leave it a little bit longer so I can burn a little deeper. got a really rustic look to it. I like that. And also remember, you want to uh, let this rest to cool on a surface that the heat will not bother. So uh, that's why we're here. We're at my shaper. It has a nice cast table. I'm going to lay it there. We'll unplug it, let it cool down. So, uh, Big shout out to the guys at Gearheart Industries. Look them up if you need a brand. It seems to be working great. And uh, until next time, come back and see us uh, at Michael Comar Designs. Let's see what we do next.